I'm in Madison, Wisconsin right now, kids, for my Terry 2016 campaign. Like, I'm taking a smoke break. I'm smoking a joint. You know, kids, I'm about to lose an election very hard, and I'm going to take it very personally, too, dude. Um, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm having a modest little... This is my diet, kids. I got fucking Yo Play Yogurt. One... I got an Arizona watermelon, too, and um, I found this, and it's got water in it. It's not pests or anything or alcohol. It's actually water. And there's my there's my fucking diet, kids. There's no heroin. There's no crack. There's none of that shit. And you know, as said, America, like we're, the middle class is gonna lose hard too, dude. And so are the homeless and the poor for real, dude. That you people would elect Crooked Hillary and her fucking Wall Street friends to have another eight years in that White House. And then or Donald Trump and his Hillary Clinton friends to have another eight years in that White House. Doesn't matter who you vote for, dude. They're friends with each other and shit. But you people are too stupid to even realize that. That I've come to that conclusion, dude. That like You people would vote for Jill Stein, like, knowing who the fuck she is, like... Who is she, dude? I don't even know what her record is or what her voting record looks like. Why the fuck am I going to vote for her, dude? I know what Gary Johnson's like. He's as crooked as the rest of them. So, like, Jill Stein, I, I'm just going to assume that your name has been out there for years, bitch. That you're just as crooked as the rest of them. Like, seriously, Jill Stein. And you you Americans would accept, you know, these, these puppets that come out of your TV out of nowhere, like Bernie Sanders. Oh, Bernie's not for sale, but he's for sale for Hillary Clinton because he just bought a house and endorsed her. Yeah, like, you know, Bernie Sanders, if you would have ran as an independent, you would have won, dude. I guess you didn't want to be president that bad. You just were out for a quick paycheck, like, seriously. You're never running for president again, cr crooked uh, Bernie Sanders, like, seriously. And it should come as no surprise, my stepdad even said, like, why had things gotten so bad to the point where we're going to cheer on a Jew? Like, we don't trust you. I'm like... Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I've been in New York for so long. <laughs> it's seedy. It's true, kids. That thing, you you would let your political system get so corrupt and so um, crooked that you people would cheer on a fucking Jew that looks like a fucking saint and shit like that that ended up being for sale just like the rest of them did. How many more elections is this shit going to take, America? I don't know. That's the question you need to ask yourself, because I'm not going to be here much longer. Oh no, dude! What me and Allah are we're we're gonna me and Allah are gonna go fuck off now? Like seriously, Allah, who are like, seriously? I had some fucking hippie up there like spying on me and shit. Like seriously. But anyway, because I said, I'm going to lose an election hard, and I'm going to take this shit very personally, that your CNN, your Fox News, and all that shit, does not fucking cover news. They're all ran by that Bernie Madoff guy, or Bernie um, Rupert Murdoch, or whatever, dude. That you're just a cue card reader, Rachel Maddow. You're just a cue card reader, Bill O'Reilly. You don't come up with shit. You're, you don't, you're not entitled to free speech on the on the air. You do what you're told because if you don't, you're not going to get a paycheck. Ha ha.